Welcome back to another Dan's Kitchen Garden allotment. Today I'm down the allotment. We're going to have a look at the allotment in November and to see what jobs there is to do over the winter period. And I've also got something else to show you very shortly. So if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, please take a couple of seconds and just push the subscribe button. It helps the channel grow and it makes me want to make more videos for you guys. So then, quite cold out here. First thing I'm going to do before the video starts, put the kettle on and make a cup of coffee. So this kettle has been boiling for about 15 minutes now. And it doesn't normally take that long. It normally takes two or three, even four minutes. The only thing I can come down to is where the cold weather has come in. The gas in the bottle is coming up as it's like empty as it's empty so I'll take it out and I'll check it there's still loads of gas in this bottle but the only thing is it's where it's got so cold in the shed the gas is vaporized and it's very hard for it to come out the way I deal with this is this bottle I will put up until next year when it starts to warm up there's still plenty of gas in there I know it because I only replaced this bottle probably about a week or two ago and I'll just put a brand new bottle in which is stored down in the box in the warm and before I go tonight I will put it back in that box just to make sure it's warm it's not warm but it's um, the gas isn't frozen every time I go and use it so I'll plug it into the system and hopefully now we'll have full on gas perfect time to make a cup of tea so, that's a nice cup of coffee, keep me warm, down here a lot, man. I was looking on Facebook a couple of days ago, and, was, and I'm a, I follow a couple of uh, allotment pages. I noticed down in Yorkshire, I believe, they've had a lot of rain, and a couple of the allotments down there is just completely flooded out. It's absolutely disgusting. If that was me, I don't know where I would start again. At least... At least we're on higher ground here and we don't seem to have that sort of flooding. The ground does get a bit boggy, but it just doesn't seem to affect us very much. So then, guys, when I've done previous allotment tours, I've had the camera in my hand and I'm being very close to the vegetables and the beds. And you can't get the full aspect of the allotment. So having this new system has achieved, has allowed me to achieve to do this to stand right the way over here and explain in each individual bed to you guys and also bring the camera close, closer if I need to. So this is how the new allotment tools are going to look like. So the first bed will be the runner bean bed here, what we had where we had the runner beans. If you watched the previous video, I made the pumpkin bird feeder. It's still solid and I've just, feed, I've just filled it up with food today. So the birds are enjoying it. Uh, this ground, I've got to add some chicken manure to, um, just to give it that little extra boost for next year because the runner beans issue were very, very good. We had more than enough and couldn't get, couldn't get rid of them quicker. Uh, the Brussels sprout area. Brussels sprouts were very tiny to start off with. Uh, we haven't... Um, I left all the leaves on to the I left all the leaves on the Brussels sprouts this year just to see if there would be any difference in the growing and stuff like that. The only thing I found out is to take the side leaves off because the Brussels sprouts were very small. But since I've took the side leaves off now, it seems to be growing and the Brussels sprouts seem to be getting quite big. And they should hopefully be ready for Christmas Day. A little fruit section here. Uh, everything's been closed down, the rhubarb has been all barked over and I can actually see it starting to try and grow again. So what I'll do is I'll bring the camera closer in a minute and show you that. Um, this was where them uh, spaghetti squash things were, them curly whirly courgettes. That has just completely been cleared. If you see a couple of videos ago that I put uh, horse muck on the top and just left it. Uh, the garlic seemed to be growing really well. We seem to have, be having a lot of growth on that. 
and I'll bring the camera up close for the garlic. Remember the tomatoes were in here originally. Uh, the potato section still needs to be all dug through. So let's have a... So previously I would have had to stop the video when it started raining. But now you're propped up in the shed and I'm standing out here with a nice big umbrella. <laughs> so we're going to continue the allotment tour. Uh, last year I had the, sorry, this year I had the potatoes in here. It still needs to be digged. Um, the ground is still too sludgy to do any form of digging. So that'll be done when this rain finally decides to stop. The turnips are ready to come up. I'll probably pick them up in another week or so. I'll take them completely out before they get ruined. Uh, this is where we actually had the horrible spaghetti squash. I don't know if you can see them down on the floor there. Um, this bed has completely been digged. Uh, it's ready for next year. All I need to do is just keep on maintaining and make sure no weeds or anything go onto this bed. And then coming up towards the springtime, I cover it with card and put a load of multi-purpose compost on top. Uh, the sweet corn have all completely been cleared. This bed is another one what hasn't been dug yet. Um, the fire is going down. There's only a little, a little bit more uh, to go. Um, I'm not too sure if I mentioned it in a previous video. Someone asked me why I don't compost this stuff. And the reason why is because of the stuff, the sweet corn canes and stuff like that are far too thick to compost. They would take so long to break down in the compost bin. So I normally burn it off and then over the years that would be spread back into the allotment. So it's still a form of composting. Uh, this was where the butternut squash was and the pumpkins. This bed has not been touched at all. I haven't dug it. Um, just down, down down, to the weather we've had. As you can tell now we've got a lot of bloody rain again. So it hasn't been dug. And as soon as the weather starts to dry up this will be dug again. And I've got to give the grass around the edge another cut. So this time of year you'll see the allotment. It's not going to change that, that much just to the weather and what's growing. So what I'm going to do now is just do a little time lapse over the allotment. So then, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. The rain hasn't stopped, but as I said in the start of the video, we have something new to show you on this channel. So let's go and have a look. So you might have remembered a few months ago that Joe come to my allotment. And on this video, we were discussing about this plot here, where the gentleman might be giving it up at the end of this year, but he has decided to keep it on this year so I couldn't get it but what I did end up getting was a phone call a few weeks later stating that the plot next door to this one has become available and if I am interested in it and that one is this plot here and this was the exact way that I got the allotment This one is uh, 134 foot long by 32 foot wide. I'm not too sure how that works out in pole, but I've spent all of about an hour on this plot at the moment. And that was to place the garlic into this bed here. Uh, I've done another row of garlic and I've also done a row of red onions white onions and shallots. I didn't show you how to plant them out 
because every time I go to plant onions they seem to fail every single year. So what I've done is I've just planted them and I've been watching other people on YouTube to see how they do it and just to see if I can get any good onions for next year. But this plot is completely dug over. Every year he put mushroom compost on this. He'd been here for about 20 years and this is the state of his allotment at the worst at the worst time. This is how it used to look most of the time. The only thing is I've done is I've made a little bin area at the top there as you can see a few compost bins and we've got some raspberries canes just down the bottom here. What I should be doing is with the raspberry canes is eventually clearing that and putting another big compost bin and start doing a leaf mould uh, turning compost in leaves. As you can see we've got a great big cherry tree here so this cherry tree is a pain in the bum when it drops all its leaves. Hopefully it can drop straight into that compost bin for the leaves. So it isn't that bad. I've just got one more. I've just got nothing to do on this one. And it's just the plot but one to my original one. So these both will be going on. I will be keeping this allotment into rows, I won't be bedding, putting beds like the other allotment. And I will be doing things like parsnips and carrots and stuff like that in this plot. And also it's got a water tank right at the end of the allotment. So easy watering for me. So then if you have any ideas what I can be planting in this plot for next year, just put it in the comments section below. So then guys, that's the new allotment. Not much work to do, obviously the compost bin, and I'll do that obviously when this weather clears out, the same as this allotment here with the digging. I'll do it when it starts to get a little bit more colder and less rain. October we had a horrible rainy month at the allotments, so there wasn't that much to do. But if you want to see what's going on on the channel and to find out what videos are going up early, Go along and follow my new Facebook page and I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, I am going to be doing a time scheduling on my videos now and you will see a video every Sunday at 6pm and on a Wednesday at 6pm if the weather allows me on the Wednesday one. Uh, the Wednesday one's a little bit unsure at the moment. That will morely be for like... Um, the Halloween special, the Christmas specials and stuff like that. But hopefully you will be seeing a short video every single week on a Wednesday and a longer video on a Sunday. So guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and make sure the bell notification is switched on at all times. And if you have any questions or comments or just want a general chit chat, put it in the comment section below. I'll catch you in the next one.